Thank you for taking the time to look at the introduction to startup finance valuation. Uh, we have taught this class to close to 200 students that have included uh, venture capitalists, angel investors, and uh, founders of companies, and consultants, and employees of companies. We have had students who have had a background in finance, who have a background in accounting, who have a, uh, a background even in medicine. So we have taught this class to students from all over the world in San Francisco. Uh, this class is the result of the feedback from these students and uh, uh, the research that has gone behind it, as well as the experience that we have had in helping companies get funded, uh, we have worked with uh, over 200 startups and we have uh, helped these startups with their strategy, we have helped them with their funding. And so this uh, class is the result of all the work that we have done in working with these different startups. So uh, the first slide that we have is the premise. So uh, the teaching style in this class is we understand that every student learns differently. Uh, uh, so what we have done is we try to read out the slide to the student and then go into a discussion about the slide. Uh, the introduction for this class is being recorded separately than, uh, than the material for the class. The material for this class actually has uh, a live audience and so we also get questions from the audience and the benefit of the questions from the audience is that um, if you are watching this class at home then uh, you might have a question and someone from the audience might ask the same question that you were going to ask and that way we get to answer your question as well. So what's the premise of this class? So the premise of this class is to instill a fundamental understanding of startup finance and valuation. Learn the fundamentals. So similar to if you wanted to lead a healthy lifestyle, you would understand that fundamentally it is a better idea to have more fruits and vegetables in your diet uh, than any junk food or to avoid junk food. Or if you wanted to get fit, you would fundamentally understand that you won't need to work out. So similarly, if you have a good fundamental understanding of finance, if you have a good fundamental understanding of investing and what it means to invest in a company, what it means to get funded, then you will be able to maneuver much better within the world of finance. So how the class is taught? We understand that every student learns differently. Uh, we have lectures, we have discussions, we have quizzes, we have reviews, we have founder input, we have investor input, we use real world examples. So uh, we have tried to cover all the bases when it comes to teaching, uh, mainly through answering the questions that students have and incorporating the questions that we have had and incorporating our experience and uh, then uh, we have a lot of information on the slides. So when you have a slide that shows up, we've tried to put a lot of information on the slide and then we have discussed that information. So, uh, so, so take through, through looking at the lectures and, and going through the discussions and taking the quizzes, you'll be able to strengthen your understanding. So the structure of the course. The course starts out with the history of venture capital then it goes into the fundamental concepts of venture capital. Then it goes into uh, where venture capital comes from. Then we look at a sample cash flow statement. We also learn how to make a cash flow statement. And then we look at some real world examples. And then we'll continue to add more material to the course as time goes on. So the big question is, why take this class? Well, what we say is that if you're ever only going to take one class, then let this be the class you take. Because what this class is teaching is, it's teaching you a fundamental strategy. What you have to understand is that in business, every business has financial goals. And then in order to achieve these financial goals, it has an operations strategy. And so being, building a successful company, taking your company from startup to IPO or whatever exit it is that you're aiming for, you will have a financial goal. Your exit is your financial goal, and you will need to have a strategy to achieve your financial goal. And if you have a good fundamental understanding of finance, if you have a good fundamental understanding of the direction that you're going in, then the combination of your fundamental understanding with your strategy is going to allow you to achieve the goal that you're looking for. So, 
So this class is more than just basic finance. This class also covers the concept of strategy. And so we would uh, uh, like for everyone to take this class, anyone who ever wants to start a business, we would like for them to have had been through this class because this class will lay the foundation that is necessary for uh, business success. Now, perhaps uh, the lessons that you learn well, through your day-to-day uh, are, will also lead you to a similar conclusion that you would have had from taking a class similar to this. Uh, however, getting the fundamentals down, getting a good understanding of how finance work, getting an understanding of what's pre-money value, post-money value, what's the investment, what the different rounds of investments are, how to make your cash flow statement, how to distribute your equity. What, having a good understanding of equity is very important. And so these are things that we would like for you to think about, and we would like for you to think about what your current fundamental understanding is, and then it would be great to see you in class. We um, hope that you take this class, and we look forward to the questions, and we look forward to interacting with you and working with you and uh, helping you be successful in your goals. Uh, this class, uh, is, I would say, is a, a uh, valuable to investors, it's valuable to entrepreneurs, it's valuable to founders of companies, it's valuable to employees, it is valuable to anyone who is going to interact with finance. And finance is a very powerful force, it's a global force, and it is. we all come in uh, an interaction with finance just by uh, in our day-to-day. So we hope you take this class and we look forward to your questions. Thank you.